Hello everyone! So, I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't post a video last week. I just had a very rough week and I tried filming, but I just sounded so tired and low and that's not the kind of energy I want to spread to you guys. So, when I was feeling a bit down, I went on to YouTube, as I usually do. I saw this video from Mira Byler. She's also a YouTube artist, she's super talented, and she posted a video about stamp carving and it looked so freaking satisfying and easy going and fun and the stamp turned out so cute. I will leave a link to her video in the description box below so go check it out and give her some love. So I felt like this is just a kind of meditative and creative art activity that I need right now. So right after finishing Mira's video I went on to Amazon and ordered some stamp carving stuff for myself and I'm so excited to try this out. But before we start I want to give a quick shout out to a brand new art supply subscription box that is called Sketch and Story. It is a UK based box that is focused mainly on watercolors but also hand lettering and journaling. It will always include handmade or premium watercolors. So this is really something for the watercolor lovers. Also I am not paid to say this, I just think it's fun with more European based boxes that are focused on different things. So we will get a little bit more variety. So as I said, it is a brand new box. It isn't even out yet. It will launch in February, but if you think it sounds like a box for you, you can show your interest by signing up on a waiting list. Then in February, the pre-orders will be open and you will get notified. I will leave the link in the description box below and everyone that signs up have a chance to win a free sketch and story box once they finally launches. So back to the stamp making, the things I have here is this Lino Material Master Cut from SD. According to the description here, it's supposed to be pretty easy to use, which is great since I have no idea what I'm doing. And then we have the carving tool with 10 different little cutting blades or scales scoops as it almost looks like, an ink roller for getting the paint onto the stamp. I guess you could just put the stamp directly in the paint but I think this will make it more easy and give a more even coat. And I also got these paper plates to put the paints on and the paint I will use is this Schminke, I think it's pronounced, Aqua Liner Print Paints and it is a really cute little box with a primary colors and some white and black. All right, so let's get into this. I'm gonna do a little test first just to see how these things works. Ooh. <laughs> mm, fantastic smell, ooh. It has this like eraser texture to it. So I think I'm gonna cut a little piece from this one and just try out the different tools and see how it works. So, but I think I will need my cutting mat for that, so. Hopefully I will not cut my fingers. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so satisfying. I somehow thought it would be harder to control the lines, but it is actually pretty easy navigating around on the surface. I love this already. So let's make some stamps. So I drew some ideas for the stamp on the computer and then I printed them out. I could have just drawn the designs directly on the lino material, but I am no good at freehanding more symmetrical shapes. Then to transfer them, I'm scribbling on the back of the paper with a soft dark graphite pencil. Then I place the paper on the lino and then I trace the lines and the graphite will be transferred onto the surface underneath. It is a bit messy, but it works really well when when you can't really use a light board, for example.
So I really, really thought I would love carving away the bigger areas, like bigger pieces, like for the moon here for example, or removing the material around the stamp. I don't know if the tools I used were not sharp enough, or maybe the lino was a bit harder, but it more annoyed me than felt satisfying to be honest. It looks really fun and nice when someone else does it, but to me it just felt tedious and I carved too deep and the blade got stuck and that annoyed the crap out of me. However, making the line art so to speak, just carving out the lines with a finer blade, I really really love doing that. I thought that was super fun and relaxing. But I must say, even though I wasn't super enjoying carving away the bigger pieces, the larger areas, it looks really amazing watching the footage afterwards. So I guess that's the enjoyment I get out from it, watching myself carve afterwards. But yeah, as I said, I had a lot of fun just making the lines that I could do all day. Also, this reminds me who else made this in school but with erasers. I remember we took graphite pencils and carved out our initials or patterns into the eraser and then we scribbled with a water-based marker on it and made little name initial prints. It was super fun but I don't think our teacher appreciated it as much as we did. So here we have the stamps and a whole bunch of these little lino pieces. It looks like shredded cheese, kind of mm, delicious. Not super environmental friendly perhaps, and it is just everywhere. I can still find these little pieces everywhere on my desk and on the floor, but my cats really enjoy them. Now, I think this is one of the most satisfying parts with making the stamp, rolling on the paint for the first time. And it only goes onto the parts that I left uncarved. I don't know, it looks so nice. Unfortunately, the more textured paper that I like the most didn't work that well, since it seems like the paint won't go down into the grains of the paper. Same with the watercolor paper I used for the cat stamp, but I kind of like the softer texture that the watercolor paper gave, but smoother paper definitely works way better. I will also have to play around with the amount of paint to put onto the stamps. I think more is better, but too much will make the paint go down into the smaller details and I don't want that, but the roller definitely helped giving an even coat of paint though. I really loved how some of these turned out. It will take a little more practice, I figure, but I am happy with the result for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you would like me to make an even bigger stamp sometime, like a whole little scene kind of, with a whole block of this lino material. That would be a super fun challenge. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats. Bye! Thank you.